Okay, so look, everybody wants super thin and lightweight laptops, but we also need power and performance, which is normally sacrificed when we're talking about being portable. Most laptops struggle with this and some are balanced. Welcome to my review of the Asus ZenBook S14 powered by the new Intel Core Ultra 5 processor. Before we even go any further, let's talk about the unboxing experience. First off, the unboxing experience was very simple and straightforward. Straight out the box, we have the ZenBook S14 itself and a little note on it referring to its design and it's all about that material Asus used touted as Cerealuminum. It's like a high-tech process Asus use and the build quality is just next level here. The laptop itself though, it looks stunning. It's a very unique design on the back. As you can see right here, they use a CNC chassis weighing in at only 2.65 pounds. So carrying this around, you're not gonna feel it on your back. It's super, super, super lightweight. Like, I don't know how, if this video is just displaying how light it is, but it is, believe me. Connectivity wise, on the left side right here, we have a HDMI 2.0 port, two Thunderbolt 4 ports, and an audio jack. On the right hand side, we just have a single USB-A port, but man, you could probably tell by now how slim it is. I'm not even sure if it's focusing on camera, but it comes in at only 1.1 centimeters. So whenever we open this laptop, as you can see, we could open it with one finger, like my literal finger right here. We're greeted with this gorgeous display, all right? It's a 14 inch 3K OLED touchscreen display. And when I tell you it's sharp and vibrant, you just have to believe me, you know what I'm saying? Working in apps like Photoshop and Lightroom, I had the confidence to just know that the colors whenever I export it, it would look the same whenever it's on like Instagram and stuff. There's a bunch of laptops that I've used where I color grade on Lightroom and then whenever I transfer it to like my phone, it's like a different color, which is crazy. But this laptop right here, is very, very accurate. It's 100% on the DCI P3 color gamut. It comes with 500 peak nits of brightness and also Dolby Vision. So watching content that supports that, you know it's gonna look amazing. So the typing experience on this keyboard has, it's been, it took a, a little bit to get used to. That's the best way I should say it because it has this very short shift key. So a lot of times I've been hitting the shift key by accident. It's not a full keyboard layout, but the keys are nice. It's easy to type on this thing after you get used to it. I also love the backlit keyboard. You have two different levels that you could choose from. And what can I say, you know what I'm saying? Like I think brands like Asus mastered how good typing experience should be on a laptop. So you don't have to worry about that. The trackpad is also good right here. It's spacious and supports all the Windows gestures that you need for smooth navigation. Now, in terms of how the speakers sound, surprisingly, it sounds really good. Asus managed to pack in four speakers inside this, and I know the mic probably won't do any justice, but this is what it sounds like. Okay, now we have to talk about performance, right? This is what I would call the most important thing when it comes down to a laptop. Like, yes, you have your portability. Yes, the screen looks nice. Yes, it, it has a webcam, the speakers, blah, blah. But how does it perform? And the best way I could put it is by showing you real world usage, how I use the laptop every day. I'm a content creator, right? You see my videos up here on YouTube. I have to edit those videos. And whenever I'm editing, I want to make sure that the laptop could handle my footage, right? So I did a little test. I also, to be honest, I'm genuinely surprised with the performance of this laptop, bro. Like I'm in Premiere Pro right now and I have, of course, my timeline. This is my Pixel Day in the Life, 9 Pro Day in the Life video and boom. Look how smooth this is playing. I'm genuinely surprised, bro. It's a half preview right now. I could change that to full preview. And this is not rendered, by the way. You can see it still has the yellow up there. That means the timeline isn't rendered. But let me just go ahead and play this out for you guys and you can just see the playback. This is like crazy. Look how smooth it's playing. Overall, I think the pick. And it's scrubbing through fine. Like there's literally no issues playing back on this timeline. Overall, I think Intel has done such a great job with the new Intel Core Ultra 5 processor. The fact that I could do my regular editing on this thin and lightweight laptop is genuinely amazing. And with all that power, it helps to unlock new AI possibilities 
better graphical experiences. And since it has that integrated NPU AI engine, AI based apps are super fast and I could easily get work done for longer while on the go. It's also the first chipset to have a dedicated CPU, NPU and GPU, which is very impressive. So yeah, performance wise, everything basically went well with this laptop. I've been using it throughout the week, no issues on everyday basis, like doing the regular laptop tasks, browsing the web, having multiple apps open, working in the Adobe Suite, Photoshop, Lightroom, back and forth, Premiere Pro, etc. smooth. Now, in terms of specs, mine is running the Intel Core Ultra 5 processor, 16 gigs of RAM, and it's using Intel's integrated Arc GPU inside. And I know you're gonna ask about how the gaming is. Well, don't expect this thing to outperform dedicated gaming laptops, but light gaming is definitely possible. I did try to run some Valorant on here and it ran actually pretty smooth. Yeah, so as you can probably tell right there, it's taking roughly 50 to 49 minutes to export my 32 minute video. To me personally, as a content, like for me, that's a little bit too long, you know what I'm saying? But some people might not mind, but I rather have those quick export times. So yeah, just to put it in perspective again, on the type of performance you could expect from this laptop. So where this laptop really shines though, and what Intel is also really focused on is AI using Copilot in Windows, all the possibilities are endless. It's perfect for idea generation and coming up with creative ideas for YouTube videos, thumbnail ideas, title ideas. You basically have AI right at your fingertips and it definitely will increase your productivity with whatever you're doing. Now, Intel and Asus also ensured the laptop had good battery optimization. Battery life has also been really good on this laptop. In my personal experience, I go throughout the day, I get like nine hours of mixed usage, which is respectable for an ultrabook of this side, especially a thin and lightweight laptop like this, you want to make sure that you have good battery life because you're gonna want to travel with it. It's so light, you're gonna bring it to coffee shops, cafes, back and forth with classes and stuff like that. Just the fact that you don't have to think about like stressing about charging every time or worrying about should I go here because there's not a port right there. It's just one less thing to worry about. The battery life on this is really good. So basically in conclusion with this laptop, I've been using it for about three, four days right now. And I think it's like a little pocket rocket. That's the best way I could put it. The ZenBook S14 will handle your everyday tasks. It's thin and lightweight, perfect for those of you who are always on the go. And for most of you who just want like a solid portable machine for work, studying, browsing the web, this is the perfect sweet spot just for that between performance and portability. So let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think the new Asus ZenBook S14 would be your next travel laptop, especially with the new Intel Core Ultra premium line of processors? And if you found this review helpful, smash the like button. And if you have any questions about this laptop, also drop that down below in the comments. That would help me to make these reviews better for you and also for me. If you wanna check out this laptop for yourself, I'll leave first links down below in the description. And as always guys, love, peace and tweaks, signing out.